Bananas are a popular fruit in many countries and are grown across tropical regions around the world. The journey of a banana from a young plant to the consumer market involves several crucial stages, each requiring the expertise of farmers. Farmers plant bananas with a spacing of 2 to 3 meters, allowing them to grow without comp heating for sunlight. Saplings are placed about 30 centimeters deep in the soil. This depth helps anchor the plant and prevents it from toppling over, especially when they start to bear heavy banana bunches. Farmers must remove diseased or dead leaves to prevent the spread of disease and enhance the process of photosynthesis as the the flowers bloom and more bananas grow farmers cover the banana bunches with bags to protect the young fruit from insect attacks maintaining an even temperature inside the plastic bag is crucial for the color and development of the fruit they also remove excess bananas to concentrate nutrients for the banana plant pruning helps control the structure of the bunch making maintenance easier this promotes strong plant growth and maximizes fruit yield Typically harvesting begins when the bananas are still green as they will ripen during storage and transportation dwarf banana varieties take around 11 to 14 months from planting to harvest while taller varieties take around 16 months the time from flowering to harvest for a typical banana bunch is around 3 to 4 months signs that indicate it's time to harvest include the top of the leaves wilting the fruit color changing from dark green to light green and the flower tip falling off the bananas will become fully plump and firm workers use knives to cut down the entire banana bunch the harvesting process is labor intensive and requires high skill the bananas are placed on cushion transport vehicles to prevent bruising this step is crucial because bruised bananas are difficult to sell on on international markets each banana bunch can weigh from 65 to 110 pounds so farmers often use foam padding on their shoulders in order to avoid injury our harvest team typically needs at least two people as one farmer cuts with a knife the other supports the bunch to ensure that it doesn't get damaged next farmers secure the banana bunches onto a pulley system that this system is used to transport the bananas from the field to the collection points this is especially true for for banana farms located on hilly terrain the installation of a cable system is ideal on average one system can transport around 90 banana bunches meanwhile each truck can only carry around 35 to 40 bunches making trucks more commonly used on smaller farms after leaving the field the bananas are immediately taken to the processing area where they are washed and sorted Skilled workers cut large banana bunches into smaller clusters and soak them in clean water. The second wash removes any remaining dirt or impurities. After the initial wash, the smaller banana clusters are gently placed in fresh water to ensure they are thoroughly cleaned. Bananas are pre-cooled within 10 to 12 hours after harvest to slow the ripening process and reduce post-harvest losses, improving their marketability. Workers separate the banana clusters into smaller portions for easier packing. They ensure that each tray meets the required weight this step is crucial for maintaining product consistency the bananas are packed in into boxes and kept at a temperature of 13 to 14 degrees celsius ensuring they stay fresh until they reach international markets only the highest quality bananas are selected for export while the rest are sold in the domestic market bananas are loved not only for their great taste but also for their numerous health benefits how however they have the downside of decomposing quickly and being difficult to preserve for long periods as a result people often choose to process bananas by frying them to extend their life frying oil removes some of the water from the bananas gelatinizes the starch destroys enzymes and creates a crewy product with a distinct aroma and flavor skilled workers peel the bananas by hand and slicing machines cut them into evenly thin slices around 3 to 5 millimeters. Thick during frying workers continuously stir the bananas to ensure an even crisping on all sides at a temperature of around 180 degrees after 2 to 3 minutes the bananas become crispy and turn yellow once the fried banana is cool a conveyor belt moves the slices to a seasoning mixer. Followed by the packaging line this production facility can process up to 15 tons of bananas each day production of fried bananas is growing because people want to choose healthier snacks it is estimated market size is $2.66 billion US bananas can also be used to make banana flour. A healthy alternative to wheat flour in various recipes green bananas are dried and ground into a fine powder with a modest initial investment farmers can produce banana flour and market it too. Retailers in addition to food farmers can produce a lightweight breathable fabric from banana stems there are two types of banana fibers one type is peeled from the inner bark which is a soft silk-like texture tea and is relatively expensive after harvesting farmers chop down the banana stems to prepare the fibers the outer layer of the stem is removed leaving. The strong inner fibers banana stems are soaked to decompose and separate the fibers after that. The banana fibers are washed and dried farmers comb them to separate and make them smooth and flexible. The long fibers are then spun onto thin threads and woven on a loom to produce fabric. The second type of banana fiber is coarser and it is peeled from the outer bark of the banana stem. Banana fiber feels soft but it is as strong as rope it is also easier to remove because this type of fabric is biodegradable all the items in this room are made from banana fibers this coarse fiber is ideal for producing accessories however banana fiber production is quite time consuming and has not been widely adopted on average out of 500,000 hectares of banana cultivation only 10% of the waste from banana stems is processed into fiber vegetable oils are increasingly popular and has a potential solution 
for the global food security but have you ever wondered just how they are? Produce the journey from fruit in the field to becoming oil as one. Full of excitement we will watch now how farmers harvest tons of fruit to produce. Oil the first fruit we will take a look at is the oil palm. Oil palm trees thrive in tropical climates that is why they are found in countries like Indonesia and Malaysia currently these two. Countries account for around 85% of global palm oil production. The palm oil production process begins with nurturing oil palm seeds in nurseries after around 12 months before the rainy season. Begins these seedlings are transplanted into the fields each palm tree is planted approximately 99. M apart this spacing reduces competition for sunlight between palm trees and ensures each tree receives maximum light for optimal growth. Oil palm trees usually bear fruit after two and Half to three years of planting in the field ripe palm bunches can weigh anywhere from 5 to 20 kilograms farmers. Usually harvest oil palm trees when they reach three years of age the productive life cycle of a palm. Tree can last anywhere from 25 to 30 trees in optimal conditions oil palm tree productivity is significantly influenced by environmental conditions and the age of the tree mature oil. Palm trees in Indonesia and Malaysia can yield an average of 18 to 30 tons per hectare each. Year farmers may they have difficulty checking ripeness with the naked eye therefore farmers will count the number of fruits that fall to the ground when the palm tree drops 7 to 12 fruits. It is a sign that farmers can harvest farmers use knives or sickles to cut palm bunches. Palm trees are usually quite tall so standing and picking for a long time is quite tiring and dangerous. Therefore before picking the the sickle must be sharpened to be very sharp farmers can cut quickly and gently helping to increase harvest productivity after harvesting farmers use axes to trim the palm clusters easily separating the fruit and filtering out dirt preparing for processing steps at the factory palm fruit is not sold on the market and is mainly processed into other products such as oil the palm fruit is transported from the plantation to the factory within 24 hours most small scale processors do not have the ability to generate steam for sterilization therefore intact palm fruit bunches include cotton absorb a lot of water during cooking high-press sterilization systems crush fruit clusters after heating to loosen. The fruit finally palm fruit is sent to the press and the oil is converted into pure palm oil via a purifier each year global almond consumption exceeds 1 million tons of this California provides. More than 80% of the total the following companies are responsible for harvesting almonds across the mountains and processing tons of almonds every day once pollination is complete the almonds begin to grow on average each tree will produce more than 6,000 almonds it will take 6 to 7 months to grow. Until they are ready for harvest farmers use machinery to speed up the harvesting process. The Allen harvester is specially designed for shaking the mechanical head of the machine is. Attached to the tree trunk the strong shaking calls right almond to fall to the ground almonds. Can be left for around 10 days in the garden to dry blow and machine sweep them into rows and. Another machine will be in charge of harvesting the dry almonds after this process arriving at. The factory the almonds are poured into the money pit and here a conveyor belt transports them too. The processing area they first pass through a rotating roller to remove the outer shell and separate the seeds once peeled the almonds go through a conveyor belt to remove any branches or debris from the harvesting process these systems ensure the almonds are free from impurities before moving on to the next stage almonds are then put through an advanced sorting process to remove severely damaged or defective almonds large scale factories can process more than 3 million kg of almonds per day often spread over 33 housing estates during peak season more than 100 trucks Transport almonds 24 hours a day once through the conveyor built smaller almonds fall into containers they are kept under ideal temperature and humidity conditions to ensure a constant supply of almonds for year-round processing while the larger almonds continue their journey for oil processing unrefined almond oil is made by pressing raw almonds without using high heat or chemical agents this low temperature process helps almond oil retain more of its nutrients making it a better choice for culinary uses bottled almond oil can be used for the next 12 months. Finally we come to the olive tree a tree that commonly grows in the Mediterranean region currently Spain Greece and assorted countries across the Arab region have become the largest olive producing countries amongst them Spain produces nearly half of the world's olive oil the olive harvest begins in September and ends in December an olive farmer day begins at sunrise and lasts until soon it or the daily target is reached there are many interesting ways to harvest olives farmers often combine traditional harvesting with machinery a machine is in charge of shaking the tree trunk to let the ripe fruit fall in addition farmers also use wooden sticks to impact olive branches to ensure that all of the ripe olives fall this automatic harvester has a simple way of operation the harvester will go through the olive trees then will move the olive tree with a rotating fork this causes the olives to fall down when the olives fall a conveyor belt is ready to pick them up and transport them off these machines are designed with the ability to harvest independently and continuously ensuring very little olive damage sensors installed in the machine provide accurate information. During harvesting farmers estimate and observe that olive trees can have a lifespan of 13 to 20. 
years the harvester's conveyor belt will transfer the olives to the storage tank behind the vehicle. Once the container is full the machine will transfer the olives to the trunk the destination of newly harvested olives is processing factories a place to turn them into healthy solutions. Continuous grinding is the most common method used in the world today the olives enter the crusher at one end and the oil comes out at the other the olives are crushed using a hammer mill and the olive pulp is pumped into a malaxa mill there it is warmed and mixed until the oil begins to separate the resulting mixture is pumped into a huge here the solids are separated from the liquid and the olive juice and oil are separated into a final centrifugation because the polyethanols that give olive oil its flavor are more soluble in water than in oil this reduces exposure to water and helps preserve the flavor of the oil the final stage is packaging and preservation olive oil is